Okay, Barry, I'll give you the word picture. I've got my test in 10 days' time. Okay. And my instructor, who's uh, gone off sick today, but he's got the same car as you, uh, said you'd fill in for him. And uh, he said he was going to look at... We've just been running through different subjects, and he said he was going to look at my merging today. Merging, okay. So I'll hand it off to you. So, what level am I at? Um, phase two. Yeah, trained, yeah? Trained, yeah. Yeah, and the subject is? Emerging. Yeah. Alright, so I'll leave it to you to uh, well, introduce yourself. Well, it's funny, my name's Barry. Oh, Barry, are you right? I'm okay. A little bit chilly, but there yeah, we go. Freezing. Right, okay then, so um, your instructor's gone off sick, and I'm doing this lesson for you, and we're going to yeah. cover emerging. Yeah. Okay, have you done, um, I take it, uh, have you done um, turning into the left? Junctions, approaching junctions. Yeah, be a bit careful with your questions. So, listen to the word picture again. <coughs> I've got my test in ten days' time. Yeah. So you have. To. No, hang on. I've got my test in ten days' time. My instructor today said we're just going to run through. We have been running through different subjects, just checking them out. And he said today we're going to look at emerging. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Have you done emerging before? Have you done any at all? Right. So. Let me the word picture again. I've got my test in 10 days time. Yeah? Yeah. My instructor's just been running through all of the subjects with me. And he said today he's going to look at my emerging. Right. So at this level, with my test in 10 days time, yeah, I've done it with you. I would have done everything, yeah? Right, okay. Okay then, uh, Tony, what, what's the procedure you follow when you come up to an emerge? Uh, which way am I turning? Uh, if you're turning left, say. Oh, I'll check the interior mirror. Check the left-hand door mirror. Indicate left. Um, pick up the junction, look, and go. Okay, and what are you looking for in your uh, mirrors as you approach? Uh, uh, distance and speed, and uh, any cyclists coming up in the left-hand corner. Okay, then. Um, when you, as you get to the junction, what gear would you normally be in as you approach? Oh, he normally gets me to get in the first gear just in case uh, I can carry on going. Okay, then, so you're sort of ready to stop, prepared to go. Yeah. yeah. Okay then, Tony. Well, if we have a little drive around and we'll see yeah, how we right. get on. Get the car warmed up. <laughs> and what, okay. what can you see in your mirrors? Oh, I can uh, frame the back window. I can see the edge of my head, rest of the edge of yours, and I can see ten percent car and the rest down the road. Ten percent car and the rest down the road. Okay. And we're going to make our way down to the T-junction and we're going to turn right. Okay. So at this T-junction we'll turn right. bit over to the right on this one. What, what position should we be at for um, turning right? How would you judge the correct position? Oh, left to centre. Are, are we slightly over on? What's the most obvious fault that I've made it? Well, you stopped short of the junction, sorry. Yeah. So why didn't you come up with that instead of uh, telling because me? I was, I was looking at the position there. Okay, Tony. Um, Where's the best place to position when we're emerging from a junction? Oh, just before the white line. Okay then, so we're a little bit further back here. Why, why do you think we need to... Why is it important to be positioned as close to that white line as, as possible? Oh, I can't see much of me, can I? That's right. And what would be the danger if we was over the white line? Uh, I might encroach on other traffic, wouldn't I? Yeah, and what would be the consequence if, say, a cyclist was coming up uh, the road? Might swerve around me. That's right. So it's quite important. We, we're not stopping too far back and we're not stopping too far forward. Right. Okay, so if you just want to edge forward. Just a fraction more. Stop there. Where does that white line come in on the side of the car? Oh yeah, because I need that door mirror, isn't it? Okay, so that's our reference point for stopping at the white line. Oh, right. Okay, so by stopping there, we're not encroaching on the traffic. But also, can you see how much better view we've got now than we yeah, had back yeah, there, yeah? Yeah. Right, okay then. So what we'll do when we come to the next junction, we'll keep an eye on your where you stop, yeah? Alright. 
see if you can get that right. By the door, Marin. Okay. Are you happy with that? Do yeah. You think you can, if I hand that over to you, and we'll keep yeah. an eye on it and see how things yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? What's that? The brain. Brain log there or something. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm going to turn left. Then we'll turn left. You see. I know all about them. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the brain, is it? <laughs> As you say, because uh, in case somebody comes up like a cyclist, it might force them to swerve around me, won't it? That's right, yeah. And they might go head on into a vehicle, won't it? That's right, yeah. And what's important is not being too far back. Well, I can't see, I couldn't see, could yeah, I? Yeah, that's right, so it gives us our optimum yeah. position for maximum view. And we're going to turn right. Turn right here, please. It's important we're looking right when we start to turn there, Tony, okay? What, um, were, the, what were the consequences of, of turning to the right while you're looking to the left? I'm not too sure, no. What would happen if there was a car coming down? Might possibly not have seen it and hit him. All oh, right. Yeah. And also, by not looking, you're not sure where you're steering. So, what could happen then as you turn that corner? Uh, I might go uh, end up not steering and end up the wrong side of the road. That's right. Yeah. So it's quite important. So when we come back to our next uh, next emerge, yeah, I'll keep an eye on you and see how. Uh, oh, okay. If we can get you used to looking the way you're turning. And we're going to take the next journey to the right place. Right? And we'll take the next on the right place. Turning to this new road, Tony. Okay. Yeah, good question there. I mean, and where are you looking? Where are you? Yeah. 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 Not all right now, then. Yeah, yeah. I think um, you're okay with that. So if I hand that back to you, we'll just keep an eye on you. All oh, right. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to turn left. So we'll turn left at this junction, please. Right, 
how, how do you normally position the car when you're going to turn left? How do you know how to position the car? Oh, I just keep my normal position and just turn the wheel a little bit to the left. Right, we're a little bit out from the curb here, Tony. Okay, we should really be in a normal driving position and follow the corner around. Okay, right. so when we get to our next uh, lefty merge, if I talk you through that and we'll try and get the car into the, the proper position, yeah? Because the danger there is you can have the car's coming up the inside of you, you had such a large gap. What we want is normal driving position. Now we're going to turn left. And then we'll turn left here, please. Is it only cars? No, if it, it, you're going to get cyclists as well, but if oh, it's too big yeah. a gap, you'll get cars as well. If it's if you're not careful, it's wide enough for cyclists to shoot down the motorbike. So the bigger the gap, the more vehicles can come up the inside. Oh, right. And also people judge where you're going by the position of the car rather than the signal. So if you were at a crossroads, for instance, indicating left, but in that position, people yeah. assume you're going straight on. this curb cut into the front of the car here on your front windscreen? Ah, oh, by the taxi disc. Right, okay. This is our reference point then for doing a left turn. Yeah. If, if we can keep that point on the, if you can keep that reference point by the tax disc, you'll find as we're, we're not too, so far out, we're encouraging bikes and things to come up the inside. Right. And we're also not too close where we're going to clip the curb as we go around it. Oh, okay, Barry, yeah. So this, yeah. Is, this is our optimum point for turning yeah. left, okay? Okay. Makes sense. So, if you're happy with that, do you want to try that on your next left emerge and see how you go? Yeah. Okay then. Give it a go. It's all we can do, yeah. just try these things out. And we're going to turn left. And then we'll turn left here, so I'll leave this, well, we'll see how you get on with this one. Even though it's a cross rise, we'll use oh. it. We'll, we'll no, use sorry. It. No, 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 let me finish. Even though it's a cross rise, we'll use it as a mirror, gentlemen. Right. Right, so we'll roll it around a bit. I've right, got the tax disc in the corner there. Mm-hmm. Right, so what do you mean then? Okay, you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, so if I leave that with you then, okay, we'll keep an eye on it, and if you're happy with that, we'll see how you get on with okay. your left turn. Right. And we're going to turn left. Then we'll turn left here, please.
to the left. So let's turn the left on. When do you think you could have gone at that junction, Tony? Oh, I was just being doubly sure because of my test coming up. That's right. What's, uh, what could be the consequences of um, waiting too long for a gap at a junction? Uh, well, my last test I actually went too early. I pulled out in front of the car. That's right. So how, how, how would you judge whether it's safe to pull out or not? Oh, well, um, he did tell me this. Something about being a pedestrian, my judgment, I can't remember what it is now. What it is, yeah, if you're looking to turn left and your car's coming from your right, you need to make sure that when you pull out in front of them, they don't have to brake or swerve because you pulled in front. So the easiest way to measure it is, if you imagine you were standing on the pavement, and you walked across the road and you walked back, and if you could do that without being seriously maimed or hit by the car, then you've got time to pull out without him having to brake. Oh, you mean I've got time to pull out and get get some speed up? You've got time to pull out, get your speed up, and he won't have to alter his speed. All oh, right. Okay, so by walking across and walking back, you can turn left into the path of oncoming traffic, and they don't have to brake behind you. All oh, right. So oh, we'll to turn right. And then turn right here, please. So what would be the consequence if you waited too long at junction, for instance? Uh, I suppose that car behind me would be getting a bit paid with me only. They could get a bit um, impatient and what would be the consequences if we got fed up and decided to overtake you? No, I suppose they could hit a car turning into the road, couldn't they? That's right, they're right on top of a junction. And we're going to turn left. And then turn left here, please. So whenever I'm emerging, I always use walk across, drive across, oh, walk across and walk back again, yeah? If you're emerging into the path of other vehicles, so if you're turning left and you've got cars coming from your right, you have to walk across and walk back. Yeah. If you're turning right and you've got cars coming from your left, you need to walk across and walk back. Oh, right. If you're turning right and you've got cars coming from your right, then you you don't need as large a gap because you're only cutting across in front of them. They don't have to. They won't be catching you up. All oh, right. So if you're turning right and they're only coming across from your right, then you, all you need to do is walk across oh, from so one side to the other. So I'm crossing them then, yeah. Yeah, it's only when you're in, turning into their path that you need to better walk back as All well. Right. And we're going to turn right. Then. And then we'll turn right here, please. What sort of position are we going to take for turning right? Oh, left to centre, isn't it? Do you know how to judge that? You happy with that? Yeah, I'm left to centre, aren't I? Sure. I think you're fairly. You're not miles out. If you're not, from what I can 
honestly. I suppose it's possible to get uh, pedestrians at uh, at two junctions, isn't it? It is, yes. And if we do get pedestrians, it's important we don't wave them across. We let them make their own decision on what they're crossing. What could be the consequence if you wave the pedestrian across one at a junction? Oh, they might get run over by another vehicle, wouldn't they? They might, be indeed. Yeah, that's why I never did that. Set up position for left to centre because you know well I've got it. You know well I've got it right because we're off subject at the moment, yeah. Right. So you got yourself lined up a point. Um, I don't need to know what it is as long as you. Yeah, know. yeah, I think pretty well, yeah. Busy today, isn't it? it certainly is. All these Christmas shoppers, I reckon. over to the left on that tunnel. What do you mean Barry? You're not quite over, you're, you've got a little bit of a gap between the the lines. What lines? On the, uh, the, the centre lines, you could be a little bit nearer. Are you, are you trying to tell me I'm not left to centre, is that? No, not, no, I think I done. Okay. I didn't think you were on my reference point as you approached them, I thought you were just too far to the left. Right, so why are you backing off? I don't know. So what, what, is, what is your correct position for uh, turning right, Tony? Oh, it should be left to centre, shouldn't it? Yeah, and how do you judge whether you are just left of centre? Oh, just wing it. You, you wing it, okay. What would be the consequences of not being left of centre, or not being far enough, close enough to the left of centre? Well, if I don't get the judgement right, um... It looks like I could be turning left, yeah. or if I ever get the judgment wrong the other way, I could be uh, sitting on the wrong side of the uh, white line, couldn't I? That's right, yeah. And also, you, in a position like this, we could be obstructing other cars coming that want to turn oh, left. Right, there's nobody behind us, yeah? <coughs> yeah. It's a long way from the white line. Isn't it? Yeah, as we approach it, then, then, then the road curved a bit. That's why I was thinking we wasn't on it. Okay, then, Tony. So, on the next ferry. 
on the next right emerge, I'll guide you to uh, position the car. How am I going to turn right at you? And then we'll turn right here. If you stop, steer a little bit towards you, right. straighten up, just stop here, just stop there. You have to change your mirror, have you? Yeah. Oh no, shit. No, it wasn't easy. Okay, keep going, we'll, we'll do this in a minute. Yeah, what do you want me to uh, uh, line up? Just line up the dotted line with a, a, where it cuts into oh, the front the of the line car. line just cuts into there. Right, okay. That's your reference point for turning right. That's, my, that's my reference point for left. For center, being yeah. left of centre when we do a right turn. So if you can line that up, that means we're just left of the centre line. We're not encroaching on the other side of the road. Yeah. So we're not a danger if a fire engine or dust cart came around. All oh, right, yeah. So we're not going hit, to get hit by them. And also, anyone coming up the inside, if it's a wide enough road, can safely turn up the inside and turn left, so we're oh, not right, obstructing exactly. other cars. consequence if we was positioned too far to the right. Well if I'm too far to the left they might uh, they might just think I'm turning left and left me right and indicate run or something yeah? That's right yeah and if you're too far to the right and over the line. Um oh if somebody turned into the road they might well hit me wouldn't they? That's right. Or yeah. be blocking the road at least wouldn't they? That's right. And we're gonna turn left. And we'll turn left here, please. So we get our next right emerge. Uh, do you want to talk me through how you line the car up? Yeah. Okay. That's my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's one way of singing without an appointment. Say? Okay. One way of singing yeah. without an appointment. While you're here. I suppose if I, run, if I run him over and don't stop and then I can go and see him later on and when he's when he's got his leg in plaster I can say, how did that happen then doctor? <laughs> That's right. Got some bloody near the driver run me over. <laughs> I said they're progress, aren't they? Where there's paint, there's a claim, so I'm sure he'd come out of it alright. Uh, the doctor should know better anyway, shouldn't he? <laughs> should
turn right. Even though it's a cross street, it's just straight. Okay, then okay. we'll do it right. So can you remember, talk me through oh, how yeah, you're going to attempt this? Yeah, I'll get over there and uh, find that reference point up. Oh, yes, the centre line just comes in about there. Okay, that's very good. With the consequences of being too far over that line? Oh, people turning into the road wouldn't be able to get in. That's right, yeah, they will hit you. So, are you happy doing that? Yeah. If I leave that to you, perhaps next time we'll keep an eye on how you do it. Okay, very right, yeah. good. Okay. And we're going to turn right, please. And then we'll turn right here, please. Funny old junction, isn't it? Really? It's uh, not the best visibility from the right, is it? What does that mean? It's, uh... Oh, you might need to peep and creep. To lean as far forward as you can. Yeah, to see. yeah what's it called? Uh... Is it a wide open junction? Is that what it's called? That's a closed junction. Oh, closed junction, right. Sorry, it's a crossroads. It could be a bit. Yeah, if, it, if it's a closed junction, you've got very poor visibility. You oh, need right, to yeah. lean forward as far as you can. If you still can't see, then you peep and creep. Do you know what peep and creep is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we peep and creep very slowly until we can safely see. Very important if you haven't got visibility, you don't pull out. Oh. Cleo, see some people in there. And at the roundabout we're going to be turning right. And then Abby's roundabout will turn right, please. 